Welcome to day three of the National Bank Open in Canada, in Montreal, Quebec. We are kicking things off on centre court with one of the home heroes, which is into the second round. And we'll feel that she has a chance against the Spaniard of maybe meeting the number one seed in the third round. They start to clock up some real ranking points as she bids to climb back up the rankings because she has scaled the heights before this. Yes, everyone's got their journey, haven't they, in professional sport? And Rebecca played her Ash Barty. That happened in Charleston. It didn't take Ash Barty long to rectify that, though, because she beat her the next week. But certainly between the semis at Charleston, the next week in Madrid, she got to the semis, and she won the next week in Serbia. She was brilliant in Belgrade. She dropped so few games and was just nailed on for a champion from just the second round. You could see, you thought she's going to the final. She could win. In Serbia. She was Let's just see what happens. Big stage here, though. Home tournament for Rebecca Marino, serving first in the first match on day three. Tentative start, I thought. Raise expectations of the crowd and of herself as well. Bit of a double-edged sword playing at home. You know. Playing a person outside the top 170, Harriet Dart, but it was a tremendous tussle. Had to call on all her resources and rescue. For Canada in the last Backhand, try to force it too much and concedes her serve in the opening game. Perfect start for Bedosa. And the nerves, as Liz said, clearly there for all to see. She's only played in this tournament once before. <laughs> it's hard for some and easier for others, isn't it? Let's see how she copes. Maybe with the first game out of the way, it might help. Shape after get off your phone, there's a match going on. Oh, the backhand certainly not working around the stadium for the home player. That's a big forehand. The things, that's one of the things that's impressed me about but those are the times I've seen this the season. That she does look when you look back on the on the match and the way she look at her eyes, she's always on the money. She won't let her foot off the accelerator. Marino in Memphis. Well, that shot will give us some confidence. Hope. Dropped a serve to 15 in her opening service game. Still in trouble here. Never played each other before, so that's always interesting. Oh, good work. So 
Well, unfortunately for the Canadian's point of view, not making her opponent work hard at the moment for this lead that she's established with two breaks. It's already looking pretty commanding. Three love opening. Watching the well, that's only the fourth point she's won Contest. in the match. Time to recollect her thoughts. She's really not having to do anything at this point in the match, is she? So trying to encourage Marino here. Four points in four games she's won so far. Yes, Another one there. In the Billie Jean Cup it's playoffs, it's she... Stojanovic was ranked 87 at the time. That's a better point, mm. wasn't it? We started out with a good foot. She played a good point there, trying to remain positive. That's too good, isn't it? The return of serve had a little bit more on it from Bedeau's wall. That's what creates the pace of shot. Yeah, that's good. Well, six foot tall. You would expect her to be able to of the match. Yeah, well, a little bit tall. You need to take lots of little steps, and she doesn't. Take back the juice in the last. And another good first serve sets up the winner on the forehand at the net. And she's off the mark. And boy, that will make her feel a lot better. The sun shines out to celebrate as well in Montreal. Their girls greet. Not performing at her best yet, but maybe the game under her belt will help. The serve and went for the accuracy. Out too wide even for someone with the reach of Rebecca Marino at six feet tall. Oh, struggling with conversion. I thought it was a call out at first, but it wasn't. It was just Bedosa pleased with herself. And why shouldn't she be? She picks up her first ace of the match as well. So, serving to stay in. And another error from the racket of Marino. And She's she playing someone ranked outside the top 200, but is still so focused and determined. Celebrates like she would if she took a set off Ash Barty. All about this year. Marino in the Australian Open. For her and for the crowd, and not for Bedosa. The first game is 
fourth point for the game. Gets it this time. Good work. Appreciated by her supporters. One game. Struggling for consistency at the moment. The player from Canada, but we're still on serve in the second set for those. Three. Yeah, good recovery from Marina. Yeah, it can take a lot out of you psychologically losing a 40 love lead against such a high ranked player. Two games in the point. And gets the break and listen to the ovation on center in Montreal. The girl sensing she can do it again. Put out Madison Keys. Why not? Only a set down, but with a break in the second, she leads 3 2. Disappointing end to the game and to a very good rally. High quality stuff. That focus, that determination from Bedosa that was evident from the early point helps her break straight back. Still a breezy day. Long. It is another error on the forehand. There's another jumbo jet wends its way over the fly path here towards Pierre Trudeau International Airport in Montreal. But Osa holds serve and leads 4 3 on serve in the second. Broker in the fifth game of this set. Here's another opportunity. She's made it just when it looked like she was being conservative, waiting for opponent to make the error. She comes up with a delicious cross-court forehand, uses the angle perfectly, breaks her opponent. 97. So unforced errors again, letting her down and the opportunity to take the set and take us into a decider. Temporarily at least evades the Canadian and the crowd's rather muted on centre now. It was a deathly hush last night when Harriet Dart broke Bianca Andrescu in the uh, deciding set at the start of the set. Mm -hmm, just of the tests. Two more break points. She go wide again on the second serve. Well, wasn't expecting that, I have to say. But it's another opportunity to send us into a deciding set for the 30-plus-year-old from Canada. She She's done it. She levels it up and sends us into a decider. Hands up if you thought that was coming. Didn't think so, neither did we. But she's alive and kicking. Rebecca Marino still flying the flag in the Canadian Open. City $100,000 event, so she has been a winner here before. But also will certainly just be relieved to get that one under a belt. A real tussle here. And the world 
Stop number. It's a good hold from Marino to love. All those little confidence boosters adding up. One that one if you had the chance. But she makes no mistake that time. Second opportunity. Another break three times in four Bedosa service games. She's taken the Spaniard serve apart. It's advantage Marino in the... Majestic. Wow, what sort of standard is she playing at now? She is battering Paula Badosa into submission here. She leads with daylight in the final set 3-1. You really have to give Rebecca Marino just a big tick today for seems like just a couple of games ago I was saying we'd reached the hour and a half mark. We're very nearly at two hours now. Another unforced error, disappointing end. She has to collect her thoughts and realise she's still in a fantastic position. Not quite as good as it probably should have been, but she's still a break ahead, Marino. So Second. So did the crowd. Rebecca Marino, an excellent second serve under all sorts of pressure and coming up with a big forehand after the serve. I thought has earned herself an opportunity to break again. Oh, she's made it. Lands on the line, wrong foot. Badosa, the Spaniard, is literally out on her feet. It's a double break in favour of the Canadian ranked outside the top 200. When we do this game. Big hockey fan supports her local team in Vancouver. Ooh, pressure does. Well, that's one of the breaks gone. Getting back to something like a first set form when breaking. Now two points for the hole. And gets the hole. Pretty quick games as well, which mounts the pressure further on Marino. The finishing line's there. It's in sight. She can't cross it yet. Will she next time? She is now. It's a magnificent victory.